Hello everyone, I'm Ola and this is Coding is for Girls. Last time we talked about Python basics, we learned about three building types in Python. Text, integers and lists. And today we're gonna talk about next building type called dictionaries. Similarly to the list, it's more complicated structure that stores multiple values, but instead of accessing them by their position, so the index, we access that by key. Okay, it sounds really abstract, so we need an example. When you want to call your friend, what you need is her phone number. So you open your phone, the phone book, and look for your friend's name and the number is under the name. The name of your friend is a key and the number is the value stored in the dictionary. So if you compare it with the list we learned in the last episode, you'll notice that we are accessing the phone number not by the position in your phone book, but by the key, so by the name of your friend. So if you compare with the list we learned in the last episode, you see that instead of knowing the exact position in the list, you have a little shortcut, your key, so you can jump exactly to the place you want to be. Okay, so if we start our phones in the list like this, we would need to know that the phone of our friend Marta is under index 3. But if we use dictionary, we just need to know her name, Marta, and we will find the correct number immediately. Okay, it's about time to play with dictionaries in Python. Open Python interpreter. Let's create an empty dictionary. We do that by using curly brackets like this. Let's create a dictionary that actually contains some data. For example, let's create a variable with phone numbers. Okay, that's it. We just created a dictionary that contains four phone numbers. Similarly to lists, values in a dictionary could be different types. Let's say we would like to create a dictionary with information about lottery participants. We would like to store information like name of the person, country, phone and person's favorite numbers. If we would use list for that, we could store the information in a list like this. But now, when we would like to check the country of the person, we would need to remember that country is under index 2. It's not easy to remember and making mistake is very easy here. But if we use dictionaries, it will become much nicer. We will add a key to each element. The first one is person's name, phone, then country, and finally favorite numbers. Then each pair, key and value, is defined the way we first type the key, name, then colon, and value. Here it will be name Ola. Then, when we want a second pair, this time country and Poland, we need to use comma to separate it from the previous pair and type again key first, colon and value after that. Now let's add phone and numbers too. Now let's see if we could access values easily. For example, we would like to know what is the participant name. We type print participant open square parenthesis, name, it's our key, and close parenthesis. So the way to access value is very similar to the list, but instead of accessing using index, we use key. Let's check the country now. Neat. Okay, but what happens when you ask Python for the value of the key that is not in the dictionary? Let's try and see. For example, we don't have any key called age in our current dictionary. If a minute ago you thought that Python will arise error, you were right. We have new type of error. This time it's a key error that tells you that there is no given key in the dictionary. In this case, a key age. Okay, let's think about other things. For example, what happens if you define the same key twice in the same dictionary? For example, you will create dictionary like this with name defined twice, one with Ola and one with Liz. What do you think would happen? Will we have error? Well, let's hit enter and find out. This time we have no error. 
but does it mean that Python saved all the values? Let's print the Python dictionary. As you can see, we lost the first definition for a key name containing Ola. It works a little bit like variables. Whatever is stored last will stay in a dictionary. In our scenario, we defined name Liz as the last thing, so that will be saved in dictionary. Okay, but when we should use Liz and when dictionaries in Python code then? If you need to store data that are a sequence of items and order is very important, then using list is the most natural choice. For example, if you have a list of people you want to phone, then storing that in list like this, Ola, Marta and Liz, makes the most sense. However, if you want to store values the way it is easier to access data and order is not that important, Storing values in dictionaries, like in the phone book, is a better choice. I'm sure after some experiments and writing a little bit of more code, you will have a better intuition when to use which one. There are other similarities between lists and dictionaries. For example, both are mutable. Well, what does it mean? Basically, it means that once you created one, either list or dictionary, you still can change values. You can add them, you can delete them, and you can change existing ones. We do that like this. We'll add favorite language key to our participant dictionary. Now, when we print the participant, favorite language is one of the values. Similarly to lists and strings, we could use function len on dictionary. Let's try it on participants. Yeah, the result is 5. So basically it tells us how many pairs, key and value, our dictionary stores at the moment. Similarly to list, we could also delete element using del, like this, del participant favorite numbers. Now favorite numbers are no longer in the dictionary. Finally, let's check how to change value of the certain key. For example, let's change country from Poland to UK. We do that like this participant, country, assign, UK. Now let's check our dictionary and yes, it contains UK instead of Poland now. That was exciting. I really love that something as simple as dictionary gives you so much power. If you want to learn a little bit more about dictionaries in Python, visit the link I am displaying right now and read a little bit more. It's very fascinating. You can learn more about building function dictionaries, what is possible and what is not. We already learned how to store values, things like text, integers, how to store things in lists and dictionaries, which is awesome. But what if you want to do something more? In my next video, I will talk about comparing things. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to learn how to program with me, and don't miss any of my next videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. Have a nice day and see you!